Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're going to be installing Clearbit onto our website. So Clearbit offers a free visitor report tool. It allows you to see which companies are visiting your website. All you have to do is add a small script, either to your HTML or to Google Tag Manager. So in this video, we're going to add it through Google Tag Manager, and it's pretty quick to do, so I'm going to go through those steps. So first things that you're going to need to do is log in and create an account with Clearbit. Um, it is powered by HubSpot, so I've already logged in, but first you're gonna go here and enter your email. I'll put the link for this in the description. So once you sign in, you'll go into the home section of the app, the Clearbit app, and you're gonna navigate to the settings section, and then you're gonna navigate to where it says integrations, and click the Clearbit JavaScript section. And then we're gonna to go to use Google Tag Manager. And this is a script we need to add to Google Tag Manager so it can help do the website visitor identification. So we're gonna copy that script. So I'll just click there and click copy. Now I'm gonna go into Google Tag Manager. So I'm on the overview section of my Google Tag Manager container and I'm gonna to go to the tag section. And then I'm gonna create a new tag and we can call this clear bit script. And then for the tag configuration, we're gonna click that and we're gonna do a custom HTML. And then we're gonna paste that code that we copied from Clearbit. And then we're gonna set the triggering. We want this to fire on all pages. So we want that script to be on all pages so we can identify website visitors on all the pages on our website. And then we're gonna click save. And then we're gonna go ahead and click preview. This is just a preview, make sure that it's working on our site. So we'll connect to our domain here and then we'll go back into the tag assistant tab, click okay, and we can see that for the tags fired, we see the clear bit script has fired, it fired one time, so that's great. We'll go back into tag manager and we'll click submit. And this is just pushing those changes live onto our site. So you can give it a descriptive name and then click publish. So I just called it clear bit script added, I'll click publish, and that will publish all the changes live onto our page. And then we'll go back into Clearbit. And then in the allowed refers, you're gonna add your domain. This is just a security measurement, so other websites can't use your code snippet and add it to your website, which would mess up your report. So it's only gonna show, um, allow that script to load on these domains. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my domain there. You click enter and it will add it there. You can add in subdomains as well here. So I'll go ahead and click save. And then we're gonna click verify with Google Tag Manager. Now that we've published the changes on Google Tag Manager, we'll click verify with Google Tag Manager. And then I clicked it twice here and it says receiving data. And now that you have that set up, we can go to the visitors section. So this is where you're gonna see the visitors report. So you can see which companies have been visiting your website. Since we just added the tag to our website, we're not gonna see any data here. So you're gonna to have to let some time go on before you can start seeing some data. So I would check back in within a few days to see what data you have here, assuming you have traffic to your website. So it's pretty cool, it's a free tool. I think it's worth setting up you know, for um, B2B companies and even B2C companies to see who's visiting your website and can help with your sales process and just understand your market and help um, with some marketing initiatives. So let me know if you have any questions on that. I'd be happy to answer them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.